The following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome to Gate City Chronicles. I'm Kevin Avard, your host, and today I have a special guest, uh, one of my neighbors, actually, uh, Justine Kuznick. Got it. Uh, I, yeah, she's my neighbor, and I had to repronounce re the <laughs> last name. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Uh, one of the reasons I asked you to, to come on the show, uh, specifically, Justine, was because you're a student, and you're, uh, you're studying to be a nurse. I am. And it's at Colby Sawyer College. Yes. And that's here in New Hampshire. Yes. And this is your third year into your studies? Yes. How's it going? It's going great. I'm actually entering to be a senior. Mm -hmm. And it's been... That went quick. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Too quick. <Right. laughs> um, it's been wonderful. It's definitely been quite the experience. And I look forward to what this year brings. It's right. been a wonderful school. What, when you first went there, you know, when you think of Kobe, sorry, that, that's an all-girls school? It's actually co-ed. It is co-ed. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> and that's up in the New London area. It is. Yeah, beautiful country. It's past the uh, uh, Proctor Academy, out that way. Yes. You head out that way. Yes. <laughs> and a uh, nice campus. What, why did you choose Co Kobe Sawyer? Uh, for multiple reasons. I loved the location. It's a very small school, and I liked the small school. Um, it's beautiful there, but most of the reason why I chose it was for the nursing program itself. It's a wonderful nursing program. My clinicals happen at Dartmouth-Hitchcock Medical Center. Mm -hmm. which, which is relatively close by? Yes, right. it is. It's um, about a 30-minute drive, and it's a magnet hospital, so it's wonderful. And I get a great experience there, and it's just the nursing program itself is wonderful. So do you actually go to Dartmouth to do your studies? Or I do. I Well, the classroom aspect takes place at Colby Sawyer, but my clinicals where I interact with patients and learn all types of different clinicals varying from pediatrics to um, maternity and all that kind of stuff that happens at Dartmouth Hitchcock. Now were you studying part of this stuff right out of high school? Were you, were you taking classes heading towards this type of career in high school? I was. I took anatomy and physiology one and two um, and biology. And I did the way that Nashua High School worked. You can have the opportunity to do almost an LNA type of program, um, but that was just basically you pick a name out of a hat and go for it. And right. I unfortunately did not get that. But um, yeah, so I was definitely making my way with medical mm -hmm. classes. What going to Dartmouth? Obviously, that's that's kind of like the premiere of all type of medical places around, yes. right? <laughs> yeah. Dartmouth, they do all, it, advanced medicine, all, they do. all research and all. Has anything, are you wonderstruck by it? I am. It's, it's to the point where I need to know more, though. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all types of studies and clinical trials going on, and there are some big people that go there and do a lot of things there, a lot of experiments and all sorts of clinical trials that I want to learn more about. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's a very, it's a huge hospital, and there's a lot of opportunity for many people there. Uh, as far as nursing is concerned, you know, if you, if you think about a nurse, uh, you know, they give you the shots, they give you the pill. They, there's, got, there's got to be more to it than this. There must be different factions of nursing. There is. Yeah. There's all kinds of nursing, and, you know, it's easy to look at a nurse and say, okay, come in at 9 o'clock, and here are my meds, and then you leave, but there's so much more to it. I mean... You have everything from bedside nursing to holistic nursing to home health nursing, and there's just so much more to your job, you know, focusing on the patient, and a smile can go a long way. Right. And we learn all about bedside manner 
and all about how you need to be with your patient and how you are when you interact with them. It's so much more than just the pills and the shots. Sure, I, I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. So, you know, in the news, we're, we're, we're hearing more about the Ebola virus, and, and there has to be nurses that have to attend to special needs or CDC or special type of diseases. Absolutely. What, what type of field are you going into in nursing? Is it just a general term, or are you going to be more, are you, are you looking for a specific genre of nursing? I honestly have many goals. <laughs> I, and my very long-term goal is actually to eventually go back to school to become a nurse practitioner mm -hmm. and then open up my own practice that kind of focuses on holistic health and um, physical health and emotional health. I mean, everything that you could ever imagine in one. And so that's my long, long, long-term goal. But I also want to focus on people with special needs and mm -hmm. that kind of aspect, um, their care is extremely particular mm -hmm. and it's specialized and just like any other human is, but they're special to me. Which is a nice segue into my next question because, uh, you know, obviously we're friends on Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, I just happened to see some really endearing pictures uh, where you're actually working at a, a camp in Texas. Yes. And this, it's Camp Summit? It is. Camp Summit, there's one of the things that you can't fake. I mean, you can, but you can't. And that is joy. And you're, 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 you're wrapping your arms around a lot of kids, a lot of people, some, some adults, obviously, mm -hmm. um, in various different uh, factions of what you're doing. Uh, you're smiling, but you can see the joy in your eyes. You're really enjoying what you're doing. Yes. And that you're working with special needs and, I mean. and uh, what, I mean, it's a job for you. I it mean, is. <laughs> instead of partying over the summer and taking it easy while you're in spring break and all that kind of stuff, you're actually working at a camp. I am. Yeah. And <laughs> what made you choose that particular camp? Well, actually, almost two years ago, um, during my spring break of my junior, my sophomore year of nursing, I wanted to do something more. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get out of New Hampshire and I wanted to experience something that I've never experienced before. And two things I've never experienced are working with special needs and physically disabled and also living in Texas. <laughs> so I just kind of flew by the seat of my pants mm -hmm. and typed it in on Google and I found them and they were the first to interview me. They were the first to call me back and I haven't looked back since. It's been amazing. <laughs> what part of Texas? So it's in Argyle and that's actually, it's north of the Fort Worth, Dallas area. So that's where they're having the major drought. Yes. Yeah, and they just got a lot of rain. Yes, we did. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a kind of up at that, that square point, it right? It is, yeah. it is. It's kind of at the bottom right, yeah, I guess, if yeah. I look at it. I've been praying for them for rain for the last year, <laughs> literally, because they've been, they've been going through some serious drought. Yeah. And it looks like they've gotten their share in the last few days for certain. Yes. I guess this is the monsoon type of season. Yeah, quite honestly, last year was more drier, but this year it's been great. Yeah, wonderful. So how big is the camp? Oh, it, um, I don't know how, we house about 80 campers mm -hmm. per week. And so the way the camp works Oh, there, is, it's a rotating camp. Yes. Oh, okay. So campers come in week by week and they stay the night there. So we, each week is a different age group and different disability, if you will. So, um, for example, this week what's going on right now is young developmentally delayed. Mm -hmm. So ages, I think, correct me if I'm you have to check the website, but it should be ages six through 12 mm -hmm. are there right now. Um, and they are developmentally delayed. So all types of intellectual disabilities or autism or Down syndrome. And each week is a different type of age and different disability. Mm -hmm. And so it rotates each week and that's just how the camp runs. Are you involved in their diets? Yes. Because you were, you were talking about holistic and, and medicine or, or, or treatments, I mean, they must have very specific diets that uh, yes. they, they need. Yeah, um, everyone, so whenever a camper comes in, we need to see, you know, what kind of allergies they have and special diets and things like that. You know, there are campers who can't eat solid food, so they'll either have blended or a mixed tray. Mm. And so we have to be very careful when they come in and see, we have to specialize to what they need. You know, you can have everything from gluten-free and casein-free and peanut allergies and everything in between. Right. So you got to have the EpiPen and everything ready. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, 
As far as the camp facilities, is, it, is there a lake there? Are there horses there? Obviously, I know how well you do with horses. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, the camp actually, it offers a lot there. So there are horses, and every single camper, no matter what, has the opportunity to get on that horse. I really? Mean, yeah, I've been there when we had a camper who had a trach with a vent and also a running G-tube. And he, we carried it along the side. Oh, no way. <laughs> yeah. And and the horses are very tame, obviously, yes. and docile. Yeah, yes. very well broke. Yeah, and there, um, I do have a picture, actually, of what we have. It's called the adaptive saddle. Mm -hmm. And that was new to Camp Summit last summer. And it makes it so that campers who, ca who don't really have good um, lumbar holding positioning, they can actually, normally we use a back rider, and someone will grab them and stabilize them while they're on the horse. Mm -hmm. But this saddle actually allows them to be safely strapped in and ride the horse on their own. It's wonderful. That's, that is great. Yeah. yeah. And see, your joy is coming through right now. You're, <laughs> you're enjoying it. Yes. <laughs> and, and that's a great bedside manner. You can't, that can't, that's something natural. Mm -hmm. that, that, uh, that's necessary, especially, uh, you know, in, in today's when everybody's so stressed out. I'm, I'm, when I go to the doctors or when I go anywhere, I'm, I'm usually stressed. Mm -hmm. If I'm on a plane, I'm stressed. I'm out of control. Uh, yeah. You know, I need somebody to say, okay, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay, right? Uh, so you're enjoying this. Uh, and uh, have you found that it takes you a while to, uh, to adapt to each new situation? How, how, are you, how are you dealing with each new case? Because everybody's obviously individual and they have mm -hmm. specific needs. Mm -hmm. um, how do you get their trust? How do you... Uh, after you've got to know them, then you got to say goodbye. Oh my gosh. It's all <laughs> it part of nursing. It is very difficult. <laughs> but it's, so the campers who come each year, we have, we communicate with each other and basically say, you know, this camper likes this or likes to do it this way. Or they give us examples of how to interact with them. But quite honestly, that can change day to day or minute to minute mm -hmm. for the campers who we work with. And so, the thing that we have to remember is living in the present and picking our battles, you know. Living <laughs> in the now. Exactly. You know, everyone, that's what everyone says, and that's how you should live life, but easier said than done, right? Right, right. So it's all about kind of taking in what is happening at that moment. What do they want? What do they need? And you adapt to it. How does your day start? I mean, you obviously have to get up early, and mm -hmm. you probably have to go to bed late. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So last year as a counselor, so last year I was a counselor, this year I was a nursing assistant. So mm. two very different roles, but both interacting with campers. Um, as a counselor, which is a large majority of our staffing, most of the majority of our staff are counselors. And so up at 7 a.m. and they need to be at breakfast by 7.30 and we start rolling right into activities. So you'll have two activities in the morning um, ranging from, we have pool, kaleidoscope, the ropes course, horses, sports and games, arts and crafts, nature. So you can rotate through those two activities in the morning. Mm -hmm. And then we have lunch and two more evening activities. So you do a rotation of those again. And then dinner and evening activity. And evening activity is wonderful. I love evening activity. Right. So that's just when um, activity directors plan something for for the campers. I have a picture of one camper having a plate of shaving cream and pieing a counselor in the face. And it's just, it's fun and it's innocent and it's great for campers and counselors. Mm -hmm. We both thoroughly enjoy it. Um, and then you'll have what we call powwow, which a lot of the campers like to be around the fire at night or stargazing. And it's more kind of a nighttime getting ready for bed. Mm -hmm. And then they sleep and do it all again the next day. Yeah, and they're, you can tell they're enjoying it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It is hard, hard work, but it is very worth it. Now, as far as the screening process for, for the counselors and mm -hmm. for the people that are on staff, what was that like? That, what did they have to do to make sure that, okay, you, you fit our, our group? Mm -hmm. how, did, how did you meet those requirements? So you do fill out a job application, mm -hmm. and from what I remember, um, there were not personal questions, but it was more of why do you want to work at a special needs camp and what what does this mean to you mm. and what do you what do you think Camp Summit means? And so it was more kind of personally reflecting on why that job would be good for you. Mm. There's also a background check involved. Right. Um, 
just with any job. And so it was more reflecting on you personally and what maybe you will get out of this job and what Camp Summit will get from you. Right. So they're, they're looking out for everybody's interest. Yes. Now, how, you, you obviously have some people that you work with. Yes. Uh, are they returning every year to the same job? Are they, uh, is, or is that rotating as well? Um, it varies. So this year there were quite a few returning staff. Mm -hmm. um, many people who live in Texas, um, not myself. I came all the way from New Hampshire. With that funny accent. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then there are also some international um, mm. counselors who come, who right. did some did return. So it's it's rotating, and mm. I would say a majority of the staff are new members. But returning staff, no matter what, will either return or they'll at least come volunteer. Right. You so can't you must stay be away. bonding with them as well to yeah. some degree. Right. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> right. How is it funded? Is it is it profit, nonprofit? Uh... Actually, Camp Summit. Um, so in order to have a camper come there for the week, it costs camp. $1,400 for one camper to stay the week. But they have campers who actually have paid $25 to come for the week. Mm -hmm. So camp relies on scholarships and grants and you know special events like going to a baseball game. And part of that ticket goes to the proceeds of camp. Mm -hmm. and is that all fun, uh, raised locally or internationally? How, how is that raised? It's most, um, most is local. Mm -hmm. So most recently there was a, a Texas I believe it was the Rangers game. Who? Oh, there's a baseball team down there that they went to. <laughs> baseball. <laughs> gotcha. And the proceeds of the ticket do go. So, nice. the, and that happens a lot because Camp Summit does need a lot of fundraising because they will welcome any age and any disability and any type of finances. So, mm. and some of these people, you know, they live in group homes. And so they only have a specific amount of salary they get per month. And they store away their money for the entire year just to come to camp. What for a breath one of week. fresh air. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you've ever been in an institution in, at some point to, to get out for a little period is, uh, is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It is. So what are the surroundings like? Is it, is, it all, is it outside the city? Is it part of the city or rural? Well, it's actually quite interesting when you drive up to camp. So when you drive up, you know, you kind of are in a neighborhood and you don't really think that there's anything there and then it opens up to this whole new world of camp itself. Mm -hmm. But outside of camp, there is, um, there's, it, I would say it's a city. Mm -hmm. um, and we have access to all kinds of shops and local things when the counselors are able to go off and out of camp. Um, and then we're right outside of Dallas and Dallas is a huge area. And it's um, a young area too, so we're able to go out there and explore and do all Texas kinds of things. Texas is growing as big it's, as it, it is. is. <laughs> I wish we had the same thing happening here in New Hampshire. <laughs> so uh, when you uh, when you're done, you, you come back. You're you're ready. You're getting ready for school in mm -hmm. what? Two weeks? Three weeks? Um, September. September. Beginning of September. Yeah. Okay. And you're ready. I am. Yeah. I'm very ready. <laughs> yeah. And you're ready to get it over with. Obviously, you yes. want to do your finals and stuff. Uh, Grades are good? Oh, yes. Yeah? Yes. How good? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Straight A's? <laughs> no, I, I maintain um, honor roll. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Good for you. <laughs> uh, what is the most interesting course that you're taking at Colby Sawyer? Oh, that is a very good question. Um, last year, I really liked the pediatrics course. Mm -hmm. If that was just because what I was interested in at that time, I'm not sure. Um, but learning about the different types of diseases and that sort of stuff was interesting to me. Definitely at that time. It could change when I come this fall. Mm -hmm. um, but that was my most interesting. Did you have any challenging moments when you were at the camp that you maybe thought, well, wow, that was, that was hard? Uh, yes. You, you know, how, yes. Could you explain a little? Absolutely. Um, actually, one of my most challenging moments was last summer mm -hmm. when I was a counselor. I had a camper who had never been on the zip line before. And we have this, counselors get this overwhelming joy and almost friendly competition if they say, hey, you know, I got my camper on the zip line, hasn't been on it in 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and so here we are at the ropes course and he is just not having it. He is unhappy and he's angry and he just wanted to be alone and wanted nothing to do with the zip line. Mm -hmm. And I wanted him to get on it so badly. <laughs> And so after, you know, really trying to get something out of him and 
he it was relentless it seemed but he was on the zip line for 30 seconds not even and it was the best 30 seconds of a, the week of the month <laughs> was, he, was he enjoying it yes he yeah. had a smile on his face and when he was done he was jumping up and down and again again and that moment you know you could have a horrible day mm -hmm. and then you could have a camper smile for not even three seconds and then bam your day is just made your week is made mm -hmm. and so just having them smile or be happy even if it's just for a short amount of time you know you learn to really cherish that moment do you ever take it personally when they don't smile? No. No. And that's, mm. that's learned, though. Um, at the beginning of last summer, you know, it, you kind of say, well, what am I doing wrong? Like, how can I help them? And you, you know, you can't because sometimes they can't help it. Mm -hmm. And you never know. They could be smiling on the inside. They could be glowing on the inside. And you'd right. never know. So you're not taking it personally if they're not reacting uh, in a... In a way that would, yeah, well, you could you could draw from. No, All right. you can't. <laughs> right. So that's part of nursing. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. So, which is part of the good side, bedside manner, which is fantastic. Uh, we had some pictures that we were showing, and and uh, as you can see, in a lot of the pictures, you you really are enjoying yourself. Right. You, you can see. You can see. Who's the one with the big hat? Oh, that I think if. The, Am I dancing with him? I think so, yes. That's Jimmy. Jimmy. Yes. Oh my gosh. He one of my favorite <laughs> stories from him is we were at rest and mm -hmm. he was he was sitting on the side of his bed and he had masking tape in his hand. And he took the pieces of masking tape and he put them on his face and then he went to sleep. And he just went to sleep with just masking tape <laughs> on his face. And it was it was just, oh, I don't know why I remember that. I'll remember that forever. <laughs> okay. And no rhyme or reason? No, nope. no reason it's, at all. It was his space. He was alone, happy. Right? That's he fantastic. Was happy. <laughs> um, if people wanted to get in touch with you, uh, maybe for career opportunities or uh, for uh, to, to learn more about the camp, how could they do that? Um, they could email me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's provided on here. Do I? Sure. Just go ahead and say it. Though. Okay. It's J A Y K U Z at yahoo.com. Okay. And, and the name of the camp is? Camp Summit. Camp Summit. Yes. And what is the, uh, is, there, is there a link for that as well? Yes. You can go to Camp Summit and then TX with no spaces in between, dot org. So Camp Summit TX dot org. And they have pictures and. and yes. The mission you, statement, all kinds of things. And if you have anybody who has special needs that you would want to send there, obviously that would be, you would highly recommend needs. it. Yeah. Yes. Wonderful. Uh, any final thoughts? I don't think so. Okay. Thank you very much for coming on the show. And Thank I, you. You're, you're very brave for, for coming into our <laughs> studios, and uh, we appreciate everything that you're doing. We wish you the best with, with, uh, with your education. Thank you. And uh, so thanks for coming. Thank you. All right. And thanks for watching Gate City Chronicles. Uh, if uh, you know anybody who has special needs that would like to fly out to Texas, and if you can help them, uh, it sounds like a great camp. Uh, if you're actually, I'm going to do this, if you're actually looking for somebody who's going to have a good bedside manner at a hospital and you're looking to hire somebody, I would highly recommend Justine, a uh, quality person. And uh, so thanks for watching Gate City Chronicles. Until next week, we'll see you. And we want to thank our sponsor, Aardvark Dean of Clean, the carpet cleaner in Nashua. You can reach him at 603-630-1743. And if you would like some more information about Gate City Chronicles or want to be a guest, contact me at gatecitychronicles at gmail.com. Until next week, thanks for watching. Seating program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, 
or underwriters.